also like to have a bench down here for propagating. Yeah. But also for Camilla then, like I said, you know, like just sit down and then just look out. So then imagine you're creating oh something down gosh. here. Maybe if I've got a, a client here for a consultation and yeah. it's a crappy day and you know they don't want to go over there and get wet and just go, let's just, let's just quickly go to the glass house. And then they can just kind of soak it in because yeah. you're actually sitting in the garden. Yeah, you are. Yeah. And this is actually the lowest point in the in the block, and I make sure that it was. Really? So that everything else is whether it's that much taller or not. This is actually the this is ground zero. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. What is that called? Is that topography? Is yes. That? Yeah. 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 So you know you need to, and then when you sort of stop and have a chance to look, and you go, oh, actually. I didn't really realise that. You've got a base here that, you know, like the, at the moment down here, I want it to kind of look interesting as well, but I don't want to take away the view. So this yeah. base here, this yeah. tree that you see here, will literally be a disc uh, cut, and then you'll be able to see the nice trunk, and then there'll be another disc up the top. Oh, wow. Whereas I've got banks here along where the beam is, yeah. and I did, did, did something different. I lowered it, and I raised the crown, to where I want the foliage to start from, okay. so that I can look at the trunk, and when you're sitting behind the beam, or on the beam, if you're not sitting behind the beam, you're sitting on it, yeah. uh, you're actually then able to admire this body trunk. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting because I know that your expertise is softscaping, yep. but there are all these hard elements, if I'm getting this right, oh, throughout yes. it. Those heaps, and you know, like over here. Like and, and so you don't, you, like you've done this, so I've it is this. sort of lives. You do have those hard elements yeah. as well, but they're not this big something that's just shoved in the garden. No. They're incorporated into yeah. the design. And you know what these are? Dandelions. Smell that? Is it? I don't know. I'm really terrible. Can smell. Oh my god. Have you had that before? You have. We see. I think I have. No, I'm terrible with smell. Mile. Oh, chamomile, chamomile, yes, that's what I was, I was like, it's a tea, I can think it's a tea, but I was just so stuck on dandelions. Yeah, so we, we, we're chamomile? drying our own and we'll I have our own every night. chamomile tea. We'll give you some, you I've got yourself. some dry. Oh, that's amazing, yeah. how do you do it, do you just take off the, the No, plant? you just simply just, just okay, like come that. over here and just prick one off. So you you can take some home and dry. And just prick it off. Oh, wow, that's amazing. That's so, so cool. And you know what this is? Uh, I you yeah, can't you see can drink that's that as well. That's all salty. Oh, I was gonna say it's mint. Sage. Sage. You can drink sage. Can. Sage. It's very good for your uh, gums. Anything oh, gosh, to do with here. tea uh, gums inside your mouth. So and tonsils. Like if you have tonsillitis, you drink sage tea. Oh, really? I have no yes. idea. This is kind of a teapot. Teapot. A teapot. I love that. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a that teapot. That's me right there. <laughs> that's my garden. <laughs> it's nice that you, you come, if you want to pick stuff, it is, you take a journey to it. It's not just... Quickly. That's what the intention, because we want it to be in the garden, not yeah. looking at the garden. Yeah, yeah. I love that. And that's memorabilia from our old house when Matilda was a little girl. And wow. Matilda, who were, uh, you know, Mosaic, so therefore it, it just comes off that. Run your fingers through there. Just press a bit. That's like. Okay, and now smell. Wow. Do it again. Tropically. Oh, that's. That, that smells familiar. It's eucalyptus. No. Yes. Really? Yes. It's called spinning gum. Oh my god, I've never heard of that. There you go. Oh my god, yes. Oh, I just crushed up the leaf, my goodness. Whew. Have you chili buttons again? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I collect them for the bouquets. Ah, oh, I mean, everyone loves them, don't they? You need to apologize to me, this place is amazing. This is Camilla's. Wow. This is your. Your factory, yes, my little nursery. <coughs> so, wow, Miller's tweezed every single one of these ones in here. Wow, and as well as nursery, we wanted to create a visual piece yeah. as well. Yeah, so that yeah. you know, even when you're here and you look over there and you go, Wow, 
wow, there's so much to offer. You mm -hmm. know, we are in suburbia, yes, there's a neighbour's roof there and blah, blah, blah. You know, but that's reality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you have uh, elements that will build up, like, <laughs> neighbours be gone, you know, like that sort of thing? Same thing here, water housing, floribunda, uh, native okay. lily tilly. Yeah. So I'll go about, really uh, you know, they have the capacity to be an eight metre tree. Yeah. But because they're planted planted like that, they'll grow five metres at the most. Mm -hmm. But I only really want them to grow sort of about half a metre higher than the fence. Yeah. 